things to know before moving to Texas. When you're making any big decision, of course it's great to visit the place you're wanting to move to. Also get a feel for if it feels like home to you. So apartments.com definitely played a huge role in finding my apartment because you know, on apartments.com, you're able to weigh out your options. You can filter through certain things. I knew for me that I wanted all wood floors. I wanted to be in a suburban area. You can also filter what area you're looking to move in, and it's only going to show you apartments or homes in that area. Like, look at the reviews on the apartment. But keep in mind, you want to look at Google reviews and other website that shows reviews for that complex specifically. I knew that I didn't want to have to deal with having my tires taken off my car, my car being broken into. I wanted a gated community, newer complex. So apartments.com definitely helped me with that process and filter out everything that I did not want. So tip number two that a few people think about when they're moving to Texas, they think, oh, it's open carry. So, you know, shootings are just happening. You want to be cautious anywhere, any state that you move to. Just always watch your surroundings. Going back to apartments.com, I made sure that I filtered it out to have a gated community and also looking at the reviews to see, oh, are cars being broken into? You know, is this happening? And also mind the business that pays you. Anything can happen to anyone at any time. So just the only thing you can really do is watch your surroundings, so yeah. Number three, if you plan to move to Texas, Google the most roach infested city, specifically Houston. Houston is number one. If you plan to make that decision, just keep in mind that you could be the cleanest person ever, but roaches here, if you see a roach in Houston, it's like, it's just normal. It's just something you have to get used to. Seeing one every now and then, like every few months or so, which I did not Google that before I moved. My apartment was built literally two years ago or three years ago. So I'm like, I'm good, we're safe, we're safe. But no, no, be prepared to see one every now and then. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's literally all I can say, just be prepared. And number four would be toes. Houston is a city specifically that has a bunch of toes, which means you'll be paying if you get on a certain freeway to help you get to your destination faster. It is not required, but if you're in a rush late to an event or work, a toll is something that'll help you get there quicker. It's usually about a 10 minute difference. Like if you don't take a toll, it'll add 10 minutes because you're basically taking the streets. Get an easy tag, attach it to your car, and then each time you go through a toll, it'll just scan that tag on your car. Maybe it's a dollar or like 30 cents. It can vary depending on which toll you're using, but definitely just be mindful of that because tolls are something that is common in Texas. If you move to a new state, you don't know anyone, and it's hard because you know, you don't have anyone to go out with. Um, you don't know of certain places or, you know, where you should and should not go. Download Bumble. Set it to meet friends. Great thing about Bumble is that you can, you know, make your profile very detailed. Make sure you're stating what exactly you're looking for. In my profile, I put just moved here, looking to meet new genuine friends, to travel, do spa, yoga, go for bike rides. And then you can put your interest. I put I love Afrobeat. You can add pictures. So I added like some of my travel pictures because I love to travel. But Bumble is definitely a great app to meet people. You definitely want to be cautious about certain things like what time you're meeting that person try to set up like brunch dates or so because you just you always want to be cautious but the great thing about bumble is that you have to verify your profile so it's going to ask you to take a picture in that current moment and then it'll verify you so then you can also know if someone else is verified and then you don't have to worry as much always be cautious because it could be the real person and still be someone that's that you want to be cautious around. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'm happy I was able to go over five things that helped me with my move to Texas. So hopefully these tips were helpful and I'm so happy that you guys stuck around. And stay tuned for the next video.